Imagine you are at a client's location, ready to begin a load assessment. You can make the process of gathering information from customers very seamless. You can create a form and ask for details like the name and address of the customer, type of customer, type of locality, current sources of power used, battery backup size, current backup sources, and information regarding the availability of the grids. Study this form for your reference. At your convenience, you can ask for more information from the customers. You must keep in mind, a residential customer is looking to install a system for his own household. A commercial customer includes shops, offices and industries. Examples of institutional customers will be schools, colleges, hospitals and government buildings. The form that seeks customer data will provide you an opportunity to know your customer better, which will help in ensuring that you can later satisfy their needs in the best possible way. Step 2 involves identifying devices and their ratings. To estimate peak load, you must identify all the major electrical devices and record their ratings. This will be the maximum load that will need to be powered by the solar system, assuming the customer has unlimited space and budget. Many customers want to ensure that only certain critical loads are backed up using solar energy. Walking through the building, you can create a table like the one shown to list the devices and their power ratings. Some tips that can help you while identifying devices and ratings. You can usually find the wattage of most appliances stamped on the bottom or back of the appliance or in its nameplate. You can also find the detailed specification of equipment by downloading their data sheet or user manual. Gather all information without making assumptions about the type of solution the customer will need such as AC or DC, grid tied or off-grid system etc. But it's not necessary that wattage is always listed. You can still estimate it by finding the current drawn and multiplying that by the voltage used by the appliance. Generally, most appliances in India use 240 volts. The amperes might be stamped on the unit in place of wattage. So, find a clamp-on ammeter. Take a reading while the device is running. This is the actual amount of current being used at that instant. Remember that the initial current drawn by motor will be high. Bills play a significant role in gathering the information regarding power usage of the customers. To gather clear and concise information, adopt this method. Try to capture the bills of at least the 12 most recent months. Record the units consumed in each month. Record the unit electricity charges mentioned in the bill. Also, Note the additional surcharges that have been applied by the distribution company. This will be useful when later explaining the payback to the consumer. This is an example of how you can record the data of electric bills in a table. Assessing the wiring of the building is a necessary step that you will take up as a solar PV installer. But before doing assessment, understand the concept of branch circuit. Branch circuit refers to the isolated areas of home where panel board directs electrical currents. As a solar PV installer, it is your duty to understand where and how each branch circuit operates since it will equip you with basic details regarding the wiring of the house or building. Miniature circuit breaker refers to a specific type of overcurrent protection device used in a branch circuit. Have you wondered why can you cut power to one room 
while leaving the power of the rest of the house operational. Well, the MCB unit protects the other devices from tripping. This happens because the MCB has reusable automatic switch that interrupts the flow of current when it exceeds a predetermined safe limit. Can you identify MCB units at your homes? You've now mastered the step-by-step -step procedure for performing an electrical load and site assessment for any customer. You're well on your way to becoming a skilled solar PV installer.